Okay, who is this Roxette? I, I honestly, am I a new person? I feel like I really have transformed during this video. Um, <laughs> this video is basically a compilation of all of my best techniques, tips, tricks, all that good stuff that I use to enhance my favorite features. You can apply these techniques that I'm gonna be telling you about to any makeup look that you're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how I sculpt the cheeks, how I sculpt the lips, how I do my nose contour, which is a bit of a newer technique for me, but I have honestly really been loving it. Um, and then even how to accentuate the eyes, the brows, pretty much the full face. We're changing it up. I don't I don't wanna use the word change your face, but it is. It's like we're changing our face and accentuating the best parts that hopefully it makes you feel a lot more confident. At least for me, these techniques definitely make me feel more confident. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and leave me a funny comment because I just want to laugh. I love reading through your guys' comments. So comment down below. Let's do it. So we're going to start off with brows. I feel like brows are like a step in makeup that you really wouldn't think like this is gonna change the way my face looks, but they really, really do. So the way you shape your brows can definitely change. Your face shape can change the way that your face lays. Have you ever heard that the term that's like, brows are the frames to your face? It's really true. So my brows, you know, arch, but go down at the ends. What I like to do with my brow makeup or my brow pencil is fill in a little bit more up here so we're lifting and extending the brows and almost giving us that start of the snatch from our base, from our brows. So I'm gonna go in with the Dior Show Brow Styler. And we ain't gonna do it, we ain't gonna do it. So I always fill in any sparse areas underneath my arch. But once I get to the part where my brows go down, I actually take the pencil on top of the tail of the brow and start to draw a line outwards. So instead of following where my brow goes and going down here, I'm making almost like a stencil or a new outline of where I want my brow to go. Your brows aren't gonna be exactly even, obviously. You know that saying, your brows are cousins, not sisters. Try to make them as even as you can, but like don't stress about it because it's not the end of the world if it's a little different. And I feel like already you can see how that just starts to like lift up. Lift up everything, lift off, we're ready for takeoff. Okay, we're ready for takeoff. Then you're just gonna go ahead and clean up in the exact same shape. And we're really using this concealer to like carve out the shape even more so. I'm really trying to stick with that like heightened end. Okay, also the whole glue in the brows situation from the video I did where I like tried your guys' tips and tricks. Oh. Mm. Wow. It's a game changer. I've figured out the way I like to apply it is I take a spoolie and I just swipe a little swipe of the lash glue straight onto the spoolie and then I go onto my brows and I swear I have not stopped doing this since that video. It actually holds your brows up even if you have really thick brows like I do. I was genuinely scared to put lash glue in my brows. And now that I've done it, I'm like, there's no other way. There's no other way that I'm gonna do this except with the lash glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply all my base makeup because that's more just, you know, evening out your skin tone, not as much changing your face shape. Okay, yes skin, yes glue. Okay, so eyes. I always like to accentuate this outer third of my eye um, because I just feel like that gives me a lot of confidence. It gives me kind of like not sexy eyes, but you know the vibes, like that feminine cat eye look. When combined with the face techniques that I'm about to show you, you're gonna be shocked at like just how pulled back you look. It's gonna feel like you're, you have like a high pony that's like really tight and like just making you feel good with just your makeup, which I think is amazing. So I love, love, love emphasizing the outer corner. I'm gonna go in with just some concealer so I can cover up a little bit of my unevenness on my eyelids. Actually, this is another tip that I got from you guys um, in that video. I've been loving using a cream contour stick in my eye primer section. It's a lot more forgiving than like a uh, powder eyeshadow. So just to create that first initial blending shade, I've been using a cream, 
cream contour stick in it. I love it. We're just gonna blend that in. I'm applying in a shape that goes around the crease, but then out towards the end of the brow to start that cat eye shape. Then I'm gonna go into Artist Couture Supreme Nudes. And you wanna take, I would say, a medium neutral colored shade for your first eyeshadow that you're gonna use for this technique. So I'm gonna use this guy right here, Silhouette. And I'm using that on a MAC 217. And I'm gonna start to build up, like I said, the outer third of the eye. So we're gonna be extending this eyeshadow out towards the end of the brow, which is what's gonna really open up the eye area. All right, so then our second eyeshadow we're gonna use, you only really need two actual eyeshadow colors to complete the technique that I'm doing. If you're just gonna be do recreating this exact eye makeup look, you need a medium neutral brown and then you need a darker, like I would almost say chocolatey brown, works really well for this technique. So I'm gonna use Mink from the same palette on a slightly smaller brush. So this is the Smith 230, so it's just, a little thinner and I'm going to take this pointing the brush down to really pinpoint the area that we're applying this and we're going to airbrush that onto the lash line in the same motion. So you really want to focus again, you're going to hear me say this a couple times throughout this video, but that outer third. So from the edge of your pupil all the way to the end of the brow and when we're holding this brush downwards, it's just giving us a little bit more precision versus spreading the color so far around. All right, we're gonna amp this up a little bit. So my next step that really, really, you know, can help to shape the face is winged eyeliner. And I know this step can be a little intimidating, but honestly, once you start doing it a little bit more and once you get more comfortable, it's actually really pretty easy to do. Um, it's just, it just takes practice. So. You could leave it like this if you wanted a more natch vibe, but I'm gonna show you guys the wing liner because it like legitimately changes everything. It changes everything, I'm so dramatic. I love the drama though. I just, I live for the drama in my wording, okay? So we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Eye Studio Blackest Black Gel Liner and then my Sigma EO6 Wing Liner. I just find gels so, so much easier to use than, line, than like a liquid liner because liquid liner, Sometimes it can be shiny, first of all, and highlight areas you don't want to highlight. And also I just feel like I like, my hands aren't smooth enough for liquid liners. It shows a lot more bumps, whereas gels, I feel like it could just smooth over everything. So I'm gonna go in with this gel um, and it also helps to have a really tiny brush like this, but you wanna start kind of where we started our eyeshadow. So you wanna start from the edge of the pupil and make a small little line. Then I go up towards where I want the liner to end and I kind of make a little a little mark just to map it out and then I'll connect those two. And we're just gonna clean that up. Can you see a difference between the way that my face is starting to shape on this side and then the way that, you know, what we're working with? <laughs> for lack of better terms, on this side. It's almost like putting together a little puzzle piece. With every step, you're working to actively shape the face, the eyes, the brows, the nose. And you can go as thick or thin as you want for this step. Alrighty, so moving on to lashes. Any lash is gonna change the way that your eyes look because it makes your eyes look a lot bigger, making kinda, you know, your face look a little smaller. Different lashes have different shapes, which that in itself, is gonna change the way your eyes look. The ones that I'm gonna be using today are Raquel Beauty. These are the Auroras, and you can see how they start off a little, you know, shorter on the inner corner, and as they flare out, they actually flare. So this style is something that I would recommend if you're looking for that very wispy, flirtatious look with the lashes, for sure. I'm also gonna add on like some individual of his clusters. These are the Aurora Lights onto the outer edge to even do it further to really, again, accentuate the outer corner. I know you guys are probably sick of me saying that, but it's so important in you know this technique of changing our facial features or accentuating our facial features a little bit more. And if you don't wanna wear lashes and you just wanna do mascara um, and get a similar effect, I would take the tip of your mascara wand and extend out the, um, let's hear it one more time, the outer third of the lashes. So we're just gonna go like this. All right, so I'm gonna take these 
and extend out. And when you're applying the lash band, you actually want to lift up the outer edge a little bit. So it's not gonna be completely down to the lash line. It's a little lifted. This would be down to the lash line and then I'm just popping it up a little bit to help with the snatch that we're creating. And once you apply, you want to kind of like press the lashes up so that the lash band is sitting correctly on the eye so it can really open up the eyes. Okay, aren't these lashes just everything though? So pretty. All right, now I'm gonna go with my foundation. I'm using the Dior Forever Skin Glow. So we're gonna start really sculpting out the face. And over the years, I mean, my, my techniques have changed so much because I feel like I've just learned how to shape the face versus just pack on the makeup. So I'm gonna start off with just a little um, color corrector just to cancel out the discoloration. And this one's from Pixie actually, Pixie Beauty. It's Brightening Peach. <gasps> Don't even tell me I was not recording. Oh my God, I don't think I recorded my nose contour and I'm literally so sad because I had the best tips in there. Oh my God, how did I do that? I'm just gonna walk you guys through what I did and you can see on my nose, luckily I didn't blend it out yet. You can see the shape that we created essential to the overall shape of the face. So I took the same contour that I was using on the outer section of the face. I really hope the outer section of the face contour did film. This brush right here, also vanity makeup. It's a little dual ended nose contour brush. I took the very thin side. It almost looks like a little concealer brush. It's super narrow. And I literally just drew lines around that thin concealer line we have going down the middle of the nose. And I take that from here all the way up to the brows because I feel like that really helps to slim the nose and just create the shape that we want. And then I make a little button nose at the tip of my nose by creating this almost like oval shape. So from the edge of this line down to the nostril, same thing on the other side and then right underneath. If you want your the ball of your nose to look even smaller, you can take the contour a little tighter in. And then another little tip, that whatever's left over from your nose contour, you can take around the lips and do a little lip contour, which just helps to overdraw it later when we get to the lip section. And we're gonna go ahead and press all of this into the skin. I do definitely recommend for your concealer, let it sit on your skin for a little bit while you apply your contour. Not only does it help you map out your contour, but it actually makes the concealer a little bit more full coverage as well because it's really gonna be sticking into the skin and on the pores. The nose contour that I've been doing is actually like a pretty new technique to me, but I just love it. I feel like it really, really snatches my nose and just adds to the overall look of the skin and the shape of my face. All right, now for some liquid highlight. So again, this is actually a step that like, you'd be surprised how much it changes your face. Again, we're lifting with our makeup. We're almost like painting on different highlights and shadows to shape the face. And this really makes this nose contour pop even more. I squeeze the blender together and I focus it kind of where the bridge of my nose dips a little bit. And that's a really pretty way to get the nose to pop without it looking just like a stripe of highlight, you know? Okay, and then once we have the shape down, the highlight, the contour, everything, then we go in with our second layer of concealer. So I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in a lighter shade, this is 32.5. And I'm just gonna put it like right into the inner corner to again, bring attention to this area right here. And if you want to even snatch up your nose a little bit more, you can bring this in too. And while that dries, I'm gonna apply a little bit of liquid blush. This one is uh, Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in 11. Blush placement can change your face shape as well. If you apply from the apples back towards the hairline, that's gonna give you a more lifted appearance. If you apply on the apples of your cheeks up towards the eyes, that gives you a little bit more of that baby doll look. All right, and I'm gonna set everything down really quick. And we're gonna add a little bit more bronzer, but I like to call this step bronze tour because I like to use a contour brush to add definition and really define the face with this. And I even take it down into this like hollow area, which I feel really helps to shape the face as well. 
another technique I love is doing this right here. Boom. Do you see how like snatch that makes you? Now I only leave that on for like a couple seconds honestly because I don't really want a harsh line. I just want to give a little bit more definition. So obviously nude liner, it's a must. And this is gonna help to brighten up the eyes and really open them up as well. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash to finish off the eyes. All right, then we're gonna set everything down and amp up the highlight with a powder highlighter that's just gonna go on top of the exact areas that we have that liquid highlighter down because these are just gonna accentuate it even more. I mean, okay, this isn't really like a tip to change your face, but like highlight just makes everything look better. So I'm going anywhere where I want to really bring light to the face. I was using this one, the Metallic yellow gold from the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in pure gold. I'm loving how this look is turning out because I feel like you can really see a difference between, you know, by before and after. But for lips, you want to go with a lip pencil that is about the same color, maybe one or two shades darker than your skin tone or your foundation color. And you wanna use the lip liner to contour. And like, I don't know if you guys are over 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 drawing lips but i really do feel like it changes the shape of the face especially when you like focus the overdraw right into the cupid's bow so i start here and then meet down at where my natural lip line is and this is the best way to add again just a little bit more focus into the center of the face leading us to a full-blown snatch i'm gonna go with my like iconic nude combo nars blonde venus and then belle du jour in the center but any lip color you're doing you want to use two different lip products because that's what's going to give you the most plump most like juicy looking lips i'm just going to go right in the middle to plump that up plump up the center of the lips sometimes once i have like my um full lip on i go in with a little bit of the mac cork lip pencil which is just a little bit darker than stripped down, but it has a similar undertone. All right, and my last tip is to take a little shimmery eyeshadow. I'm using this guy from Charlotte Tilbury, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Eye Filter Luxury Palette. And I'm just gonna pop that right into the center of the eyes. And this is gonna open up the eyes a little bit more and add, again, just a little more oomph, kind of like how we did on the lips. And I like to do this after, like once I'm already done because I don't want like, I didn't want a shimmery eye look. I just want to add a little pop. So it kind of helps once, you know, I have the rest of my face on to see how much I should be putting on. But that is it. I can't get over this nose contour. Like this nose contour is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely some amazing tips and tricks to take away. And one of the things that I like is that you can really apply this to any makeup look and hopefully feel, again, super confident, the best version of yourself, super snatched, super sculpted, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's it for me. Love you guys. You're beautiful and setting out. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys. <laughs>